guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back so today's video is a huge collective haul um i have been doing a lot of shopping for my summer holiday wardrobe and my kind of like just my summer wardrobe in general but definitely focused around holidays um i did a huge clear out of all of my summer clothes but like my style has changed quite a lot in this last year to two years and the bulk of my summer holiday wardrobe um, was bought maybe like four plus years ago so I did a big clear out of all the things that I've kind of grown out of fit wise and style wise and I picked up some beautiful pieces to add in as kind of like my capsule so there's lots and lots of pieces on the rail there's some bits from Farfetch which I'm very excited about and um, there's some bits from Reese, H&M, Mango, Story and along with clothes I also have accessories so I've got some handbags, some sunglasses, some swimwear so a whole multitude of things which I really think you guys are going to absolutely love it goes without saying now that Farfetch is one of my my absolute favorite stores to shop at especially when I'm trying to inject some new life into my wardrobe or if I'm on the hunt for some hero pieces or capsule pieces if you're not familiar with them they are basically an online hub and they store hundreds and hundreds and thousands of different pieces of clothing and home accessories and beauty from loads and loads and loads of different brands basically what they do is they source all the pieces from different boutiques and department stores all across the world and then they ship them directly to you shipping time is incredibly fast I get pieces from all over the world when I do my orders and they all arrive within three to four days sometimes even the next day which is incredible so really really great for if you need some last minute bits also the returns process is such a dream if you're picking up a couple different sizes of things to send things back is just so simple and easy so a very streamlined process altogether and that's probably why they are one of my absolute go-to's to shop on not only are they great for finding my favorite pieces from my favorite brands but they also have introduced me to so many other brands I've never heard of before because they have such a great stock of designers on the website of course, I have a Farfetch discount code, which is Nadia FF. If you apply that at checkout, you will get 10% off most of the brands. I will pop all the T's and C's down below. So the first thing I picked up from Farfetch are these gorgeous jeans. These are called the 90s cropped jean from A Gold. I own one other piece from this brand, which is a jumpsuit, and it's incredible. I've worn it for so many years now. And I saw these jeans and fell in love with them. I love the fit. I love the color. I love the amount of distressed detail on them. I said this often, but sometimes distressed pieces can just look cheap because they're too distressed whereas I feel like these look very kind of naturally distressed. They have a raw hem and they are cropped but they're not crazy cropped so they're really really great for heels, they're really great for loafers and trainers and sandals and I just thought these would be my perfect summer jean. This is my absolute favourite tone of denim for the summer, it's not too light, it's not too dark, it's just that perfect in between slightly washed kind of colour and I love these so much because you can really dress them up or you can make them extremely casual so I'm seeing these with any kind of like even a shirt like I'm wearing now and a pair of heels, maybe Maybe a bodysuit, um, maybe just a normal t-shirt and some heels, or for the daytime just a linen shirt, a normal t-shirt, um, and some trainers and some loafers and a blazer even. But like with these jeans, any other piece that you pull out your wardrobe to pair with them will work. They're just such a good staple jean. And then talking of jeans, I picked up another pair. Um, these are more kind of slimline, a little bit more smart in their fit and also a little bit lighter than the other ones I just showed you. The only thing is these are too small, so I'm going to have to exchange them, but these are from Anin Bing. You guys know I am absolutely obsessed with that brand. Um, There's probably one of the brands I discovered on Farfetch. I kind of knew about Anin Bing anyway, but Farfetch had such a great selection on there, so I ended up doing a couple different orders um, of their products, and now they are an absolute staple in my wardrobe. So this is what these ones look like. High-waisted, as I say, a little bit more slim-fitting and lighter denim. They have two little distressed cuts in the knees, and then they come down into quite a straight leg fit. They'll do a really great job of being dressed up, but also worn nice and casual. Um, so again, your kind of linen shirts, white t-shirts, um, trainers, loafers, or you pop on a nice little blouse and a pair of heels and they'll look perfect for the evening. I am going to be showing you guys these on. I'm not sure I can get the buttons up. They are very tight. And just on that note, I did order these in my usual size and they are way too small. So I'm going to actually get probably two full sizes up. So just bear that in mind if you're buying denim from Anin Bing. Next up is a pair of shorts from Sandro. Sandro is another brand that Farfetch really, really got me into. So I saw these shorts and I absolutely fell in love with them. These are your perfect smart casual summer shorts. Love the fact that they are tailored, but they're quite a loose fit. So they're in between smart cash. Again, they can be really dressed up or dressed down. I will probably be wearing them just with loafers or sandals. This could equally be dressed up with a blazer and a nice little t-shirt, maybe some wedges or some heels. 
Um, but these for me are your ultimate capsule summer wardrobe shorts. Perfect for evenings on holiday, perfect for hot days in England. They, they're probably a little bit too smart to like go to the pool or go to the beach just because they're such beautiful shorts, but they will work for that. Um, so a really good all-rounder. I really, really like the length of these two. They're not too short. They're quite a classy length. They have this gorgeous belt detailing as well, which is really nice. You can really cinch that in, maybe even give a little bit of a paper bag waist effect. And apart from that, very simple, but such a good classic piece. So long as these actually fit me, they will be in my wardrobe and they will be worn to death. Um, they're such a classic and simple and timeless piece that they're going to work for years and years and years to come. I'm even looking at them right now with this little silk shirt. This would be such a cute outfit on holiday. It's super simple. Just chuck it on. Gold necklace, some loafers or some sandals and you're good to go. Um, so yeah, that is the shorts. And then the final pair of shorts I picked up are also from A Gold, which is the same brand as these jeans, and they're actually basically the same kind of denim. I think these ones are ever so slightly more dark. One of my absolute go-to outfits in spring summer is denim shorts, a nice kind of cotton poplin shirt, maybe a belt, maybe not, and then some loafers. It's such a perfect, smart, casual, easy, and comfortable outfit. So these are classic denim shorts. Again, they've got a bit of length on them. There's gonna be no bum cheek hanging out, which is something I'm very, very strict on. A little bit of distressing on the pockets and also on the hem but the reason I really fell in love with these is the kind of odd waistline so they do have that sort of wrap over front which I love but then also they have that on the back as well and I just thought that was such a cool little feature it's really not that obvious but it makes such a difference to a pair of denim shorts otherwise these would be very kind of simple very basic lovely quality but I feel like adding this um, waistline on the front and the back just makes such a difference so these I'm also seeing just up or down as I say a cotton poplin shirt and some loafers but also just with a t-shirt and a blazer and not to mention these on holiday are just so perfect this will work in the evening but also in the day down to the pool and the beach okay moving on I picked up a pair of sunglasses i am such a sunglass fiend honestly my collection is crazy i love them i wear them all the time um i just i, I don't feel complete without a pair of sunglasses on so i picked up these little aviators with a brown kind of gradient frame these are such a classic ray-ban style and if i'm not mistaken these are the first ever pair of ray-bans i ever ever bought myself maybe like 10 years ago um, and I used to wear it. This was like the only style of Ray-Ban I would ever wear. Even sunglasses, it was always aviators. I had the black pair. I had a pair with like a tortoise frame. And I'm pretty sure these were the ones that I kind of started out with. Anyway, they have somehow gone missing in my life. And when I saw them on Farfetch, I thought, Do you know what? These are such a classic staple sunglass and I'm going to get them. This is them on. So classic, so kind of timeless and just quite cool. They're quite a cool frame. I feel like you can wear anything really simple and these really kind of elevate the outfit. But imagine these with like the jeans and a white t-shirt and some loafers and these sunnies. Even the shorts that I just showed you and like an oversized shirt and these on, it just adds so much to a look. If you're like me, you are a sunglass fan, definitely go on Farfetch and check out their frames because they have such a good selection. Going more into like full on summer holiday, I actually was meant to be on holiday when this video is going live, but it just got delayed because of weather. So now I'm not going for another couple of weeks, but anyway, I've got my whole summer wardrobe behind me, so that's good. Um, I picked up another Hansa G bikini. I only tried these for the first time probably in like September time. I've seen them non-stop all over the internet, all over Instagram, all over YouTube. Um, and I finally took the plunge last year and oh my goodness gracious me, I understand the hype. These are a one size fits all, which I know will make lots of people very skeptical. Um, and even holding it up here, like that looks quite small. But they have the most incredible, comfortable stretch in them. They're just such a good brand. Like the materials, the colors, the cuts, the fit, I just absolutely adore them. Because these are one size fits all, they're just genius. Because I'm going to have this bikini forever, provided I take good care of it. <laughs> so any part of my life, any kind of weight gain or weight loss, um, anything I go through in life, these are going to fit me, which I think is just such a cool idea. So this is the one I got this time. It's in this beautiful kind of like burnt red such a gorgeous color imagine that on holiday with a tan and like a gold necklace 
um, so high waisted bottoms and then they have a slightly cheeky bum I would say nothing too showy but also nothing too full coverage and the top that I got looks like this so it's got quite thick straps actually which is nice and then it does have a very kind of slight sweetheart neckline there which will just help to give you a little bit of shape instead of being like full on straight neck yeah that is the bikini highly highly recommend Hansa G and again Farfetch have a great selection of their styles so definitely check that out and then next up from Farfetch is some bags so just to show you when you order from Farfetch everything comes as though you bought it from like the actual brand so everything comes in like dust bags and boxes and then inside a Farfetch box so the first bag I picked up was from Cult Gaia this is my second Cult Gaia bag from Farfetch in this kind of like wooden rattan so I saw this bag and I actually could not live without it. Um, it came in three different colours. It came in black, it came in this tone, and then it also came in a lighter kind of wood. I thought this one was the best to work with everything in my wardrobe. Because it's a little bit darker, I feel like it will work nicer against blacks, um, but also obviously incredible against lighter tones. It is actually rigid, so it doesn't like squish. It holds its shape. Not great for packing in a suitcase. So what I would personally do is just stuff it full of like bikinis, underwear, pyjamas, and then lay it flat in my case. Otherwise, you could just take it in your hand I love these little circle handles. I think they are just so cute. And then inside is just one big compartment in there. So perfect for going to the beach. You're going to fit a book in here. You'll fit toiletries. Um, basically anything you need, you will fit into this for the daytime, apart from a towel. Not only though am I seeing this on holiday, I'm seeing it in England when it's nice and hot with some long summer dresses like you're about to see. It's just such a beautiful, feminine and gorgeous bag. And the final thing I want to point out about this bag, because I wasn't actually sure about it until it arrived, is obviously you can see this kind of pattern here where there's these little kind of holes. I was worried that maybe that would continue on the bottom and then you risk maybe if you've popped an earring in or something, losing that. But but the bottom is completely tight so nothing's gonna fall out the bottom which I think is really great designing okay and then the next bag I got was from C by Chloe which I have quite a few bags now from C by Chloe and I love them the quality is always gorgeous if you weren't too sure on the difference between Chloe and C by Chloe C by Chloe is the sister brand um, kind of aimed at more of a younger audience and it's a lot more affordable so this is the Tilda crossbody bag I was looking for a bag that was something that would work in the evening on holiday and also in in England but then also something that would work perfectly into my daytime wardrobe as well and I saw this and I just immediately added it to my bag I think it's absolutely stunning but to give you a little close-up here it is it's in this most incredible tone of green ever I absolutely adore it it is leather and then it has this little suede panel on the top this actually looks like it's quite a small bag but there is quite a lot that you can fit into it so on the front there is this little popper pouch I can open it then in there is just one simple pouch it's actually very spacious like I would get my phone I would get my camera probably a battery pack in there and then on the back here there is a little zipper pouch again with one single um, compartment in there this zipper one is a lot more neat than the front so on the back you'd put in like your lipstick maybe your cards anything a little bit more streamlined and then on the front you can kind of bulk it out and I just thought it was so perfect for everyday wear but also on holiday in the evening but you can crossbody it which is adjustable so you can adjust the length but then also you can just hold it by this little top handle which makes it feel a lot more smart and also this crossbody strap does come off so if you really wanted to make it smart you can just remove that and it becomes a very simple little handheld and I just fell in love there's nothing more to say other than I'm absolutely besotted by it. <laughs> I think it's going to work so beautifully into my wardrobe, especially over the summer. So all these kind of white tones and cream tones, like the colour I'm wearing now is kind of like champagne. It just looks so elegant and beautiful and I'm just obsessed with it. The next pieces that I have are from H&M. These are a pair of crochet summer trousers. I absolutely love them. Wasn't so sure on the colour, but actually now that it's here and like the sun is shining, I feel like they're such a beautiful colour for summer as they say they are crochet so they are like kind of see-through um and they're high-waisted wide and well not super wide but wider long legs um so these for me are definitely beach trousers i'd wear them with like a kind of tied up linen shirt and your bikini underneath i probably wouldn't wear these in the evening or anything more kind of dressy just because they are kind of see-through the beach is so perfect for the daytime but also imagine them at like a beach club if you were going to a beach club in the daytime like to have some lunch and I feel like you always want to get a little bit more dressy at the beach clubs and um, I feel like these are perfect and then just a little bikini top and an open shirt so really really love them another kind of daytime piece was this little black dress um, again it's kind of 
what's it called like open knit I would say so you can see through it so again it's definitely a day piece however if you wanted to wear this one in the evening you could just pop on a simple black slip I'd probably even belt it you know just to bring in a bit more shape but for the daytime, paired with a little black bikini and some sliders. And then also this little cult guy bag, I think would look so, so beautiful. Okay, and then you guys might have seen this dress on Instagram already. I have worn it um, on my stories. This is a beautiful, lightweight kind of cotton dress. I love this big V shape in the front, which also follows on the back. And then the back has this little kind of rope tie, just to sort of secure it on your shoulders. It has these really big kind of exaggerated sleeves, which kind of flows into the whole of the top part. So it's very kind of like angelic, oversized, comfortable, um, very kind of feminine, it's just beautiful. It comes down into a little flowy skirt. This does also come in a longer length, but I went for the shorter one. If you wanted a bit of length, it does have that option. Perfect for evenings on holiday with some sliders, um, but also in the daytime. And then also in England, just with like some loafers. Um, it is slightly see-through, so I've had a lot of questions about this on Instagram. It's absolutely fine if you wear some nude underwear, but if you were to wear um, even like pink or anything that wasn't skin tone, you will probably end up seeing it through there. And then in terms of a bra, I just didn't wear a bra and it was fine. Again, if you imagine like this for the daytime, which I think is so beautiful, and also with this one for the evening, like how gorgeous. Um, I feel like these two bags I've really nailed, like they're gonna cover my whole um, summer wardrobe. Because I knew that dress was gonna be such a staple for me, I actually also picked it up in the black. So it's the exact same, 100% cotton um same size and everything just obviously in the black love these kind of pieces on holiday because you can wear them as like your evening outfit once or twice and then once you've kind of got your nice wear out of them you can just pop them on every other day down to the pool so they kind of like kill two birds with one stone moving on to zara i got this i'm kind of on the fence about this one you guys will have to let me know it's a very simple crocheted top i went for it in a size medium but it is actually very cropped so just be aware of that um, but I was just thinking with some shorts, some denim shorts, and even these little Sandra ones could be quite cute. Of course, this is an open kind of crochet, so it is slightly see-through. So you'll need to pop on a nude bra if you're going to wear it kind of in the evening or daytime. And then if you're just going down to the pool or whatever, I would obviously just wear it with a bikini. I feel like this is one of those very handy like chuck-on tops. Same kind of vibe as like an oversized linen shirt if you're just kind of heading up from the beach and you want to grab some lunch you can just chuck this on and you're still going to be nice and comfortable so yeah really really simple but i just thought it'd be a good one to add in a beautiful zara dress um this is so stunning however i have a few similar options so i'm going to probably send this one back you'll have to let me know um down below it's got a lovely deep v but nothing too kind of like chesty so you can pop on some gold necklaces and really dress it up it has long sleeves and then it has this little waist tie as well, which I think will be so beautiful. And I think it's quite needed on this dress just to bring in your waist a little bit. This actually has a dropped hem and then a slightly tiered bottom. So a little bit difficult to show you on the hanger, but it's gorgeous. It's very feminine, very classic, very kind of tasteful. Um, and a really really great one for English summer but then also like evenings on holiday if you can tell as well it is lined so again do some nude knickers probably but it is lined so you don't have to worry about like your nipples or anything showing and again with my two handbags this is very much like English tea party gorgeous feminine timeless and if you're heading out for a nice kind of evening or like a summer barbecue this little bag just does such a good job of dressing it up and you get the two different options out of it next up is probably one of my favorite Zara purchases in a long time. Um, so first of all, it's these little lace detail high waist shorts. I think these are just so beautiful. Like, look at that detail. So gorgeous. Um, enough length again, so there's no bum cheek hanging out. Very covered, very classy. High waisted, and these actually just fit like a glove. You know, sometimes with the high street clothes can be a little bit ill fitting or just not quite perfect. These shorts, I feel, are just gorgeous on me. They really, really fit my body perfectly. So really chuffed with these. These will work with any kind of shirt. You can do a bodysuit, you can do some blazers to dress them up. But then they did also have this matching shirt, which I just thought was so, so pretty. It matches in the lace design. The sleeves have this little lace paddle, which matches to the hem of the shorts. And then also on the bottom of the shirt, it has the same matching um, lace. I feel like when you pair these two items together, they do actually look like a play suit, but of course you can wear them separately and kind of mix and match. I feel like this shirt would look beautiful with the jeans that I showed you guys, or even the denim shorts. 
but then of course when you pop them together you get a full look before i go any further on i want to show you some new shoes that i picked up which i think would look divine with this little set so you guys know my diehard love for the gucci princeton loafers and i saw they came out with these really cool ones this year and I fell in love and I ummed and ahed for a little while like do I need them do I not do I need them but I couldn't get them out of my head so I picked them up and I'm absolutely in love with them I think these are going to be so perfectly worked into my summer wardrobe they'll go with all the whites and the neutrals then taking it into the autumn winter these are going to fit in so perfectly as well so I'm really really chuffed with these next up was some ASOS bits which I am absolutely in love with um another broderie anglaise dress but this one the detail is just stunning so this is why I'm not sure about this one because although this is gorgeous I feel like this does trump it but they are different styles ish so this has puff uh, short sleeves, little elastic um, cuff there, so you really get an exaggerated shoulder. There's concealed buttons all the way down the front. And then again, it is a tiered hem, but the detail on this is just incredible. So obviously the whole thing is broderie anglaise, but it has this little waist panel with lace. And I feel like that does such a beautiful job at just emphasizing your waist, it gives some shape back into the dress. I think the detail just looks incredible considering this is ASOS own design. I think it looks designer. At least high end, high street. Um, and I'm just in love with it. Imagine it in like summer at summer barbecue, maybe with some wedges would look gorgeous, like a garden party kind of vibe. Um, even for like a christening, I think it would be beautiful. So I think we're gonna get a lot of wear out of it. It's definitely timeless. It's timeless from my wardrobe anyway. And um, that's a kind of piece and style that I've loved for years and years and I don't see myself ever not loving. So. Very, very happy with that one. Next up, this dress I actually saw on somebody that I follow on Instagram and I messaged her straight away and I was like, I need that dress, where is it from? And she said ASOS and I bought it and I have never been more in love with a piece in my life maybe not in my life but in a long time and um, it's just absolutely gorgeous it's so feminine it's so beautiful it fits gorgeous it's going to be amazing for dressing up or dressing down so this is a kind of sheer vibe lace dress so and um, the sleeves are kind of see-through sheer with this beautiful um flower print on there this whole body is lined so oh, it's very dark there we go. The whole body is lined, so you don't need to worry about um, knickers or bras showing. The neckline is beautiful. It's like high necked, and then it comes into this little V. It's got an elastic waist, so it really cinches, and then the whole of the skirt just flows out so beautifully. I have actually incorporated a little hook and eye clip in the um, chest area, so you can cover it up a little bit, or you can leave it open, and it will give you a slight amount of more chest. But either way, none of it is booby. And then just to show you the detail on the bottom, like look how beautiful. It's so, so gorgeous. Um, it's actually from a brand called Forever New. So this one, again, I'm seeing in the daytime, you can wear it with some sliders, with some loafers, at nighttime, or not nighttime, but something more dressy, some wedges. I wouldn't probably ever wear this one with trainers, and which is the difference between this one and these two. I feel like these could work with trainers, maybe like a little um, rattan bag and make it quite daytime casual. Whereas this one I feel like is just too pretty to wear with trainers. But it's the perfect option for evenings on holiday as well. Basically anything where you want to be comfortable but you still want to look really gorgeous and feminine and girly and just put together. This dress is just an absolute dream. So I'm very, very glad I got my hands on it. The next piece is from Reese. Reese is such a great store for amazing quality, fast delivery, just all kind of like, again, adding into capsule wardrobe. So I have shared a few of my Reese purchases recently on Instagram, but I saved this one for this video because it's definitely a summer piece. This is a gorgeous neutral toned, um, kind of like shift dress. It's very simple in its shape and it's cut, but I think it's just so beautiful. Giving slightly like a Victorian vibe. So we have a slight high neck, which is really done by a frill, which is one of my favorite styles. Um, long and sheer sleeves with this gorgeous exaggerated frilly cuff. The body is very simple with a few kind of pleats down the front just to add on a little bit of detail. And I don't know if it's gonna show up actually on camera, but when I put my hand against there, you'll see this lovely little lace detail right kind of where your necklace would sit which I think is such a good feature nothing too um, much it doesn't really change the whole vibe of the dress but it does just make it look that little bit more expensive and give in that little detail 
And then the hem just has this gorgeous little flowy, um, sort of like skirt detail, which matches beautifully in with the cuffs. So for me, this one is great for on holiday, um, also just normal high summer in England. I'd pair it with some loafers, some sliders. I feel like my new Gucci loafers would look amazing. I always say one of my favorite outfits to do, is pairing a really gorgeous feminine piece like that with a pair of chunky boots. So anything kind of chunky and a little bit more smart would look amazing. So some buckles, maybe some lace ups. Um, but also something quite rugged, like a pair of Doc Martens. I just love that combination. I do also feel like this is a great summer christening outfit because it's too short, it's very classy. Obviously, like your whole chest is covered and your arms are covered. Um, although it's a mini dress, it's not up my bum. So I feel like if you had a summer christening, this would be really beautiful. It's very kind of angelic. A little piece from Mango. I have shared this over on Instagram. So if you follow me there, you will most likely have seen it. But it's a beautiful um, knitted dress. High neck, very, very simple. It's an open knit, but I actually wore this without a bra and you don't see anything through it, so that's good. Um, it's maxi, so it comes down and it comes out to a slightly A-line, so it's a good amount of material at the bottom, which gives it a nice bit of movement. But the hero of this dress for me is the back, because it's very, very low. Um, it's done up by these little straps, which you just tie into a bow, and then you get this little kind of peephole at your lower back. The whole vibe of it is very gorgeous and like slightly classy, but it is quite sexy at the same time, which I absolutely adore. It's not something I normally wear, um, but when I tried this on, I just thought that is absolutely stunning. For me, I would probably wear this one more um, for like a casual evening on holiday. I won't probably wear this in England, it's too naked for England, but on holiday with a tan and some sliders and definitely a bag like this. Such a beautiful dress, um, although slightly daring is what I would say. I feel like a lot of you are going to be watching this and be like, that's just not daring. It's not daring, that's. <laughs> but I never, ever, ever get, like, much skin on show. So for me, it's daring, but I love it. And then the absolute final piece I picked up was from Stories. It's black, which is not something I tend to do. I don't often go for a full black dress. Um, same with, like, a jumpsuit. I feel like often it can look quite heavy and quite dark. But I tried this dress on and it's just beautiful. Um, so it's a wrap dress, it's got long sleeves, a beautiful deep V here, although not too chesty, so it is quite classy. It has a little tie on the side here, and then as I say, it's a wrap dress, so it's kind of like a awkward hem, like, so the hem is slightly uneven, like you have the wrap feature at the bottom. Um, and the way this dress looks on me, it's just gorgeous. So as I say, black is quite heavy, it can kind of, you can lose your shape in it quite a lot, um, especially if it's a dress. But because this is a wrap dress and it's got that whole tie feature, you'll be seeing it next to me, um, it really gives my body a beautiful shape. It feels very feminine, very kind of classy, but sexy. It's really kind of outlining me, but in the most amazing way. Um, so for me, this is a great option to wear with actual heels and more of like a very dressy piece for the evening. And also on holiday with loafers, sliders, just making that a little bit more casual, but you're still getting the dressy vibe from the actual outfit. So I absolutely love it, I think it's beautiful. I think it's timeless, which is great. It's gonna last a while. I don't see this ever being out of style or something that I wouldn't reach for, although I don't see it being something that I reach for all the time, if that makes sense. So a good capsule piece again. Okay, so if you're still with me, then you've done well. So that was a very long video, lots and lots of pieces to get through. I am absolutely in love with everything on the rail. I'm very excited for my summer holidays and like summer in England. I feel like I'm excited to wear this new like revived wardrobe that I have. So I really hope you enjoyed it and got some inspiration, not only for now, but also if you have any summer holidays coming up. I will link everything down below, of course, and remember to use my Farfetch code, which is Nadia FF, and that will get you 10% off selected brands. I'll pop all the information down below. If you wanna see these all styled up, then make sure to head over to my Instagram um, or my TikTok, and I'll be sharing lots of my summer outfits and things over there. As I say, my summer holiday has been pushed by a couple weeks, so you will see that eventually. Um, but if you guys did like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.